When you're setting up your easel to paint outdoors, you've got to think about the light on your subject, but also the light on you too. And especially how to diffuse the light that's shining on you from the sun. Whenever you're painting outdoors, the one thing you want to avoid is a situation like this where you have light across half of your canvas or your sketchbook or even worse, having dancing dappled light from trees. This can make it impossible to tell what you're doing with the values. And sometimes if it's in direct sun, uh, it can be just too hot and bright, especially for water media. So what we want is soft, open shade. And one thing that I've recommended building is this little diffuser that's simply white nylon attached to an aluminum frame. And that fits into this gripper that's at the top of the sketch easel. That can work pretty well for a lot of conditions, especially if the sun is this way or above you, but it doesn't work so well if the sun's coming from the side or from behind you. Um, so I wanna explore a couple of other opportunities that you can, you can use. One is this diffuser, which fits on a second tripod, <clears throat> uses two kite sticks, going across this way and also uses the white nylon on top of it to diffuse the light. This gives you a nice area of diffusion and it's also pretty windproof um, because you can spill the wind by having it fairly flat to the direction of the wind. The only downside to this one is that it takes up another whole tripod so you have to carry an extra tripod for it. And that's what I want to show you now, is another solution uh, for a system that will fit onto your tripod. And it uses some of the same materials that I had for an earlier version. What this is, is a simple piece of wood with a little flange that fits into the gripper. And then this is an adjustable hinge, similar to the ones we use on the easel itself. And this just attaches right on here onto the gripper. And then I have these two kite sticks that are designed to go into a cross piece kite stick thing. And I'll show you how to make that in a minute. Um, but let me just show you how it all goes together. The two kite sticks go through here. So there's a longer end here and a shorter end here. And then here is the diffuser material. And this has pockets sewn into the corners so that I can just put it on the tips of these kite sticks and stretch it out here. And it ends up being a trapezoidal shape, which is nice because it uh, puts most of the coverage area in front of the, the place where it's attached. So once you have that on there, uh, you have a fully adjustable and fairly windproof uh, diffusing system. The nice thing about this is by loosening the little bolt here, the thumb screw, you can change the angle to make it go way down to the side uh, if the sun was coming from that side. Or for right now, I'd wind it up like this. And then if the sun is coming from behind, I can tilt it either this way, uh, I can also tilt it this way. And if the sun were to be coming over from the right, I could tilt it off to the right hand side and to give me coverage on that side. So the whole effect is a much more adjustable, a very robust system. Let me just take you into the workshop and show you how to build this key part uh, made out of wood here. I start by drilling a half inch hole in 3 16 inch thick plywood and then sand it I could do this on the belt sander or just by hand. And this becomes the gripping plate, the part that fits into your gripper. And the whole thing is about 11 inches long from the hinge line to the end of the grip plate. The shaft of the gripper itself is about three quarter inch square stock. And then I have half inch thick stock for the top piece that the uh, crossbar fits into. The square stock is slotted so that the grip plate and the hinge plate will fit into those slots. 
and it almost holds itself without glue. There's a slight angle to it, so it angles outward from the easel toward you. But then I use some glue, some Gorilla Glue. I wet the surfaces slightly, and this glue uh, really makes a good bond. Then using this kite cross piece in a slot that I cut for it, I use two-part epoxy putty. You actually don't even need to do it this way. If you don't have one of those cross pieces for the kite sticks, you can just drill the holes through the wood itself and it'll work just fine. And if you don't have kite sticks, you can take apart an umbrella or you can use uh, an arrow shafts from cheap arrows you can buy at a big box store or you can even use driveway markers. Anything that's a thin fiberglass pole. And then I use a little bit of uh, walnut stain to make the appearance better. You can use a little tongue oil at the end to give it a good finish. So that's it. That's how to build this improved diffuser that attaches to your home-built sketch easel. And for those of you who are do-it-yourself builders, I have a Facebook page, a group called Sketch Easel Builders, where you can post some of your own designs and improvements and share ideas with other builders. And if you want to see a full tutorial on how to build one of these sketch easels, uh, check out How to Make a Sketch Easel, which is a Gumroad tutorial that you can download. It's also available on Selfie and CubeBrush. And I'll have links available for you so you can go directly to those sites. Anyway, look forward to seeing what you come up with and uh, thanks for joining into the community. Okay, thanks for watching. You might want to check out my website or subscribe to my channel. And then here's a playlist with more good stuff and a video that continues the story. So check them out and share with your friends.